what is going on guys welcome back to another episode of the portland tech penguins and as you can see we are taking on rank 15 georgia and i'm kind of expecting a one-sided blowout if you couldn't tell but let's take a look at recruiting real quick see what we have to work with as you guys remember last episode we did get arnold reinhardt to commit to the school so now we have a left tackle and a right tackle committed we're throwing more points into george nawanry trying to just get him to commit here real quick as fast as possible because we do need another tight end no offense to maverick bentley we take the league on eric pitts another right tackle but we'll probably move him into an interior lineman if we can get him to commit we jump up to first on terrell heron's board jump up to first to the jump up to first for Darrell Weatherspoon or first for show shown I'm gonna go shown Callaway. I'm gonna guess that's his name we move up to second for Ty Jordan and just scouted Ross Stewart he's a three-star gem so we're gonna give him a scholarship in 50 because we really want to beef up that O-line and then remember last episode we gave Jeffrey Way a scholarship we're going to give him 25 points and then another five. So that takes care of the recruiting stuff for this episode, guys. Let's go ahead and jump into the game against Georgia. So we start this game off on defense. I also, as you guys can see, let Georgia wear their black alternates and we are wearing our blue alternates for today's game. Not expecting a whole lot from today's game. Hopefully we can just play pretty well and be competitive oh there's Travis or Trevor ETN sorry and he's just breaking on a lot of tackles there third and ten probably a passing down it is and Holloman doesn't even try to play the ball didn't try to swat didn't try to pick he had inside leverage and that's a touchdown so we are still rocking with jarvis as our starting quarterback but i'm sure aiden powell will probably get to see the field at some point today as our entire team is cold and or at least offensive wise that big hit just took out daniel kroom oh my goodness one hit to daniel kroom might have just t taken him out of this game i had to check him out his wear and tear went from fully healthy to fully hurt and we get the fake early to be competitive we're gonna have to try to match them score for score almost going back to hardy he found a lane that's probably our biggest play of the day we're gonna see if maybe we can get a few seconds here on this play action pass we do matthew hill wide open over the middle and he gets drugged down at the six and we're inside the 10. i really thought we had that right there with matthew hill jarvis just kind of flipped it to him and we get stood up at the line but we somehow plow forward for a touchdown and we respond to georgia back on defense now hopefully we can play a little bit better ball than we did last drive but not really dropping solomon down into the box as he's playing a hook curl zone uh etn breaks a tackle he breaks another tackle good lord we just turned conservative tackling on maybe that will help a little bit as etn's breaking almost every tackle every play oh my goodness kobe garland's in the backfield he gets a sack on carson beck third and 18 probably a passing down here we're gonna send some pressure just in case over the middle's wide open but we stop him short fourth and one and the stadium pulse is going crazy but we somehow find matthew hill over the middle for a first down well i can't tell if my uh my adjustment went through but it doesn't really matter i tried to get 
Kylie, I guess a little cute. I thought we could get him again on the fake punt. Guess the stadium pulse was too much, though. I'm not sure if we'll have another opportunity like that. Oh my goodness! Terrell Pace with a pick! I stand corrected! And you know what? I'll I'll take this. This is a win in my book. We have held Georgia on two back-to-back -back drives. The defense showing up and showing out, if you will. As we're even getting some blocks up front. Ty Hardy, he's getting some, some yards now. Third and 17. We're going to have to have some big play here, but I see it. Matthew Hill, the middle was wide open, working his way back towards the right side pylon. Malachi Starks is too slow, and that's a touchdown for Matthew Hill, and he's hitting the gritty on him. Well, after a surprising turn of events, we're up 14-7 to on Georgia, but our defense has to keep up their stellar play. Five wide for Beck. We know it's going to be a pass here. Looks like maybe a little orbital screen action or at least an orbital pass as we're right there with Jeffrey Stevens. And that's actually a loss. Only reason I know that play is because we've seen that play run by our offense. And a third and 12. And Kobe Garland in the backfield for the second time today. That's another sack for the sophomore. But now with a third and five, we're going to have to try to pass the ball here to pick up this first. They do send some pressure. We're going to go quick to Morgan, who has the first down. Third and 12. We're going to have to come up with something here if we want to stay alive when we're getting hit as we throw. We have to punt the ball back. All right. After a decent punt, we downed them on the 17. It looks like they're going to open up their playbook maybe a little bit. As Carson Beck almost took another sack there. Second and 10. We're going to send a blitz here, see if we can get some pressure. We cannot. Max Young playing some decent coverage, though. Now they're going to go hurry up with under two minutes to go. Makes sense, of course. They're going to be passing it, though. Oh, just outstretched arms of Chase Freeman can't get there. What a big play. They probably are already in field goal range if that didn't do it. Already that does for sure. Don't know what our defense is doing right now. I'm not sure what the secondary is thinking. They kind of just randomly lunge almost. Freeman there with a good tackle and Georgia has to burn a timeout. Second and eight and this might be a little ballsy. We're going to send a blitz. It gets some pressure on Beck makes him throw a quick pass to the flats and we're right there third and five now trying to watch over the middle oh, I thought we were right there with Freeman Carson Beck somehow slots that in for a touchdown we have 29 seconds three timeouts to try to make something here that won't do it but we'll call a quick timeout all right, third and four. We're just gonna try to run the ball, pick up the first. We'll call our second timeout there. After that play, we have a little bit of a shot potentially as, nope, that's a sack. No line blocking. Can't get a block, really. We're gonna have to scramble just a little bit and we can't throw it any better than that. That takes us to halftime where we're all tied up at 14 apiece. After half, we were able to check Daniel Kroom back in at running back, so hopefully we can use him a bit more in this game. We might actually have to check Aiden Bellin. Well, if this keeps going worse for... Uh, oh, I thought we had it. I was trying to lock in real quick. <laughs> Jarvis is getting really worn down from uh, all the hits he's taking. We might have to check in Aiden Powell. We're going for it on fourth and inches. Okay, it didn't switch the play. It said it switched the play. That's so great. So great. Really messed me up there. Well, that's not what we wanted. Uh, it it's said it changed the play, so I was just... Oh, give me that right back. Jeffrey Stevens pick. Ball don't lie moment. 
we were going to get that fourth down. But George has been very good at making some adjustments here. We haven't been able to get really anything going. Third and four. We got to just get this out quick. Morgan holds on, but somehow we don't get the first. Fourth and inches. We're going to go for it here. And Daniel Kroom picks it up and then some. Gets the corner from a bad angle from Malachi Starks and we're down at the 22. What a big play there from Daniel Kroom finding the seam. What a huge run from Kroom. We're going to go right back to him. When he's rested up, he is dangerous. Big third and seven here. We send Matthew Hill in motion. We're going to hit him in the flat. Not a great animation there for that catch and run. The fourth and one. <clears throat> it's fourth and one. We have to check in Aiden Powell. Jarvis was getting even worse. Fourth and one here. Big play for Powell to step in at. And he makes a great throw to Hill. Just a quick out route for the first. Now a first and goal. We're going to go quick to Morgan out in the flat. Takes two men to bring him down. And we're down at the four. Now to Strickland here. Try to hit the edge. We break a tackle as well. Spencer Strickland in for a touchdown. We have two touchdowns on the ground today. One from Hardy and one from Strickland. Now we're back on defense after a clutch pick last drive from Jeffrey Stevens. Oh, I really thought that was going to be a run from the camera angle, but we close in fast. Second and seven here. Another RPO option, but they go to Etienne this time. We drag him down real quick. New set of downs for him here. I'm sure they're going to go run here to Etienne to start. And we guessed right. We're right there with Stevens and Freeman. Going, oh, play action. I bet on that. But they end up going to Etienne anyway. But who was that right there in the flats? Ah, Jaden Bowie was right there in the flats for him. Third and 14. It's deep, though. Two man. Oh, where was our third safety? And they score right back again. I thought we ran a three high safety look. But I guess not. I don't know. No, we, we ran cover four. And that was wide open. I don't get that. Now we're back on offense. We got to try to respond to Georgia scoring. And Daniel Kroom's going to try to do it. And I'm sure Daniel Kroom's back to hurting. We'll have to check on him, make sure we don't get him injured. Send him four minute in motion. Williamson wide open on the curl route though, and that's a first down. We've been able to uh, kind of open up this playbook here. The stadium pulse is non-existent right now. We go to Maverick Bentley for at least one. Uh, Bentley would have been open there as well. We, he just got like bumped. I mean, he got tackled, but Spencer Strickland there. That was a nice way to gain back some yardage. Play action here. Why is this is the second time this has happened? Oh, my goodness. The cover four is just not working. Oh, they're, they're just leaving the seams wide open. Well, that's real frustrating. The defense can't run cover four properly. Daniel Kroom's got to get subbed out. I got to do that now. He is beyond tired and worn out. We're not going to be able to rely on him as much as I had hoped for the second half, but Foreman with a nice little play right there. Second and 14. We're going to have to pass the ball. Good throw while you're getting hit, Powell. That's a first down. Oh, good running lane, though, for Ty Hardy. And he holds on to the ball. That's a first down. Thought maybe we had a run lane. We did not. So third and 11. Ah, and Powell can't throw on the run. Yeah, this is it right here. Um, fourth and 11. It's not great. We kind of just sold right there at the end. Yep. Oh my goodness, no way. Track him down. There you go, Max Young. 
out of the two minute warning they're gonna run the ball looks like it run the clock out we're just gonna have to burn our timeouts oh no way no way that just happened he cuts it in freeman's right there though we burn our last time out third and goal big hit from stevens in the backfield and that'll do it that that locks it up there for georgia oh matthew hill we'll get one last touchdown here to bring it within seven unfortunately a little too late oh i got an achievement 80 yards at least from what the achievement just said to make it a one point game and foreman no that was williamson he holds on oh wait i lied we made it a two-point game my bad try it onside it's just scooped up yep yeah that that's it that's game well we end up losing 29 to 31 but we definitely put up a good fight against georgia and taking a look at the stats on the day xavier jarvis 13 for 20 161 yards and a touchdown Aiden Powell stepped in when Jarvis was getting really banged up. He went 10 for 13, 150 yards and a touchdown. He uh, did show very good uh, abilities today, trying to work his way back to that starting role. On the rushing side of things, Ty Hardy actually had the most carries today. 12 tenths for 66 yards. Daniel Kroom, 9 for 70. He just got really bad wear and tear the entire game. Basically was out. He only played the third quarter basically maybe less than that spencer strickland eight carries for seven yards and a touchdown also forgot to mention ty hardy had a touchdown and then jarvis and powell got sacked a bunch on the receiving side of things matthew hill mr reliable as always nine receptions 229 yards on the receiving or receiving yards and two touchdowns absolutely wild andrew morgan six receptions for 22 yards JV uh, on Foreman, three receptions for 19 yards. Demetrius Williamson, two receptions for 29 yards. Also had that two point conversion catch. Daniel Kroom, one reception for four yards. Jackson Gregory, one for 14. Had two drops today, very unlike him. Maverick Bentley, one for one. Spencer Strickland, one for seven. On the defensive side of things, middle linebackers once again holding it down with Jeffrey Stevens being our tackle leader at one. Or, sorry, 10. Chase Freeman being the second tackle. Ugh. Chase Freeman being second with eight. Nico Solomon with seven. Had two interceptions on the day. Terrell Pace had one, and Jeffrey Stevens with the other. And we did have two sacks today. Kobe Garland getting back there twice, all by his lonesome. But no fumbles today we did have a really good turnover battle we just weren't able to capitalize on it but still a really good day for the defense except those two busted plays for some reason cover four is not working but we won't be running any more cover four it seems so that'll do it for this episode guys tune in next time when we take on matthew hill obviously the pac-12 offensive player of the week as oh next week we take on the louisville who, who, what is louisville's mascot cardinals yeah as we take on the louisville cardinals at home i believe this closes out the season for us uh but make sure to tune in for that episode and uh make sure to like and subscribe guys hit that bell for notifications for when the next episodes drop or anything else that's sexton content or sexton gaming content drops uh, but yeah, that's going to do it for this episode, guys. I'm Andrew from Sex and Gaming, and I'm out. Peace.